joining us. Two weeks ago, heavy rains in New Richland overwhelmed the county ditches and storm drains, causing the city's sewer system to back up in some homes. A local butcher shop had to sur uh, surround their property with sandbags to avoid flooding. KYC News Now photojournalist Tony Peregrine has this report. If we went to sandbag, we would have had to shut coolers off, possibly freezers off, and evacuate the, uh, the product, you know, and that would have been all on a, our cost, right? And then uh, if any water got into the building, then the state and the food, uh, food inspectors would be here to swab and make sure everything was clean enough to continue operating again, which would have shut us down for probably three to four weeks, uh, which is catastrophic for a small business. Even when we sandbagged, there was still, you know, five feet from the back door. And the high school was gracious enough to let some of the, the seniors come out and help us sandbag. Yep, and then a handful, dozen or so of other community members that just stopped and helped. People just want answers. People in this town, they don't want to be part of the problem. They want to be part of the solution. So we just want to know what steps do we need to take to move forward to have some progress to happen. I've lived in town 15 years. This is the third time that our basement has been hit. I experience sewer. Every time we get heavy rains, um, comes up through the floor drain, the toilet, the shower, and it's sewage. My goal is they better figure out how they are going to fix it. Not, we're going to look into it, we are going to fix it. And there's no, no use in pointing the blame at any one person, any team, any council, it's just what are we going to do moving forward, right? And if there is nothing that can be done, then we need to know that. We just, we're, we've been in limbo for far too long, and we would like to see some change, if it is possible. After receiving a grant in 2018, Houston Engineering completed.